In 10 days, we went from record cold temperatures to record warm temperatures, and it's definitely feeling like spring. And I realized I haven't started my vegetables yet. So today, I'm gonna to share with you a low maintenance way to start your vegetable plants in case you're a procrastinator like I was this year. Hi there, I'm Valisa Linian, lifelong Alaskan, Anchorage realtor, and host of Explore My Town Anchorage. Today, I'm gonna to share with you winter sowing, and yes, I know it's no longer winter. I should have done this probably in January or February, but you know what? It is not too late to start. So the first thing you're going to need are some jugs. You can use milk jugs, water jugs, vinegar containers, any kind of a jug that's mostly translucent or transparent. So you take the jugs, you're going to rinse them out, remove the labels, and then the first thing you do is you're going to drill holes. We did quarter inch holes in the bottom and about an inch up on the sides for drainage. Then you're going to cut the jug so it opens up and you can plant in it. You want a good quality potting soil, not a seed starting soil, but a potting soil. There's a Facebook group dedicated to winter sowing and she recommends happy frog soil. You wanna get it really, really wet. It's kind of soupy, really wet in here. And then just put some of it in the bottom of your jug. So in this batch, I'm planting some cabbage seeds. I'm just gonna take a couple seeds, put them on the top of the soil and then just loosely put a little bit of soil over the top of them. You don't want to plant them deep, you just want a little bit of soil over the top. So the next step is to duct tape around the cut. What we're trying to do is create a greenhouse effect so the little seedlings get lots of warmth. So you just want to have the duct tape around to hold it closed to keep moisture in. Notice the lids are off, we don't put the lids on so moisture can get into those seedlings. You want to label them inside. I usually use a pencil on the inside labels and label them outside. So I'm going to write cabbage. I'm using a paint pen. You can also use grease pens. Sharpies will wear off in the weather. So you don't want to use a Sharpie or you're going to end up with mystery seedlings. So here are some kale and cabbage I've already finished. You can see I've got them labeled on the outside. They've got labels on the inside. The lids are off so that water and snow can get inside there to keep them wet. If you see that they get dried out, you will want to water them. But for the most part, it's a set it and forget it. Now if your seedlings start sprouting and it's going to get below freezing at night, you will want to cover them with a blanket. Other than that, they're good to go. This helps harden them off. It's pretty low maintenance and once we hit Memorial Day, which is the traditional planting time here in Anchorage, you can take those plants and put them into your garden. I got about half my jugs done. Here's some broccoli, kale, beets, pak choy, cabbage. These are going to sit out here on the picnic table. If they get dry, I'm going to give them a little bit of water. Other than that, I'm going to pretty much ignore them. When it's warm enough for the seeds to germinate, the little sprouts will start. And after that, if it's going below freezing, I'll cover them with a blanket. And then once we hit late May where I can plant in the garden, I'll just transplant the seedlings without having to worry about hardening them off.